I picked this gig up about eight months ago. I fly this around all the time. Sometimes I take the big birds into New Delhi. Yes. That's Saeed. And Hurley. Wait a second. We're not going to Guam, are we? I was alone. Everyone uh, went in and, and uh, did their, their photo shoot alone. And uh, they explained the setup, but they didn't explain the order. I mean, I knew that I was at the end because uh, they just had a little piece of the wing that I was leaning on. Uh, we talked about a couple different scenarios and then did the shoot. And then a month or so later, bang, there it is. Did you see the big guy when we got on in LA? Sitting in first class, curly hair, guitar case. What about him? He's one of the Oceanic Six. I mean, I can't say what they told anyone else, but they gave me a little bit of this and that, and uh, we did a couple different South scenarios, Pacific. and this is what they came up with. Yeah, well, maybe he doesn't believe that lightning will strike twice in the same place. I would like to see some of those questions answered. Why didn't he fly the plane? I'm sure they'll, they'll probably address that. I've kind of liked how he has evolved within this. I mean, I always use the attitude uh, that he had that, hey, man, it's not that bad. We could be stranded in Siberia. We're on an island. Let's roll with it. Stop. We've lost power. Uh, I could do a couple more years on this. They've been doing this for six years. They've been writing for six years. They're ready to go out. They've told their story. So I'm happy for them. There are reports of between 40 and 50,000 refugees that have been in these camps for 35 years or so. And uh, there are other reports that there are upwards of 150,000. And no one knows because the UN isn't allowed in there to take a census. Things like that just pique my interest. Aside from the, the tragedies, what's being done to allow these refugees to have rights? Reverse thrusters! Come on. We're running out. We're running out. Hold on. Brace for impact. 